Hello everyone, this is Boy Gunner Who here. Welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play Kids Next Door Operation Video Game. In the last episode, we finally broke into Nightmare's Lair, dealt with the worst maze puzzle puzzle in this game. And now we're finally at the boss fight of this level here, ladies and gentlemen. We're now finally gonna tackle Nightbrace himself. Finally. After all this crap you put me through, all this tedious crap. So here we go. Prepare for lots of dialogue. Guys, there will be a boss fight about tons of dialogue. Just gotta wait for one to pop up. And... Here we go. I'll be silent. appointment book is full. So many children in need of braces, you know. But for you, I'm sure I can find a few spare moments to kill. Or should I say, to drill? <laughs> the only filling going on here, Nightbrace, is going to be me filling you. Kids Next Door mission update. So, okay. So, Nightbrace can only be dashed from behind. A classic weak spot now seems to be in play, so... Obviously, avoid attacks, be locked in at all times, and just try to get behind his behind and just shoot the crap out of it. Just shoot the crap out of it. And if you're with that wide, then this boss fight is actually perfectly easy. Man, yeah, look, this is kind of hard. I mean, this this attack can be hard to avoid, but it's easy, easy to do with a tiny wall here. There you go. Just gonna wall around. God, you need better range attacks, Night Brace. Just gonna attack your tube behind you. And he's nearly dead already. Really, he's pathetic. I mean, all this tedious crap I put through. I just get this terrible boss fight. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Miss me. Okay, you got me that time. Oh. Ow. And there you go, he's already dead. Perfectly easy, like I said. Woo! There! The kids next door, making children's cavities and rotten teeth safe around the globe. Let's go, Night Brace. And night place is something to say. So there you go. That took half an hour. Jeez. This level took too long. It was too tedious. And yeah, I didn't like this level. Not a very good level. Level for number one's final level. But anyway, it's cutscene time. Number four. Even you can't spoil my new plan. The treehouse flooding might of my new power flush toilet is unstoppable! <laughs> what? You call that a new plan? It's exactly the 
same as the last time. But I, I, uh, I, I, I like this plan. But it doesn't work. What's the point if it doesn't work? But it will work, because this time I have henchmen. And my scummy mummies are, uh, scary. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. These aren't even henchmen. Gary, they're walking walls of butt wipes. Um, uh, get him! Oh, good lord, you stupid kid so can he lead the treehouse for one second and it's already being attacked again. Why can't you stupid kids get some better defenses here? But hey, the tornado's gonna be getting his revenge. And it's actually putting. A real, real fight this time compared to the tutorial level. Okay, now I need to wash my hands. So yeah, prepare for tons of toilet humor and poop humor. Cause yeah, toilet was everywhere and ugh. I'm really sorry if you hate toilet humor because this level you are going to hate. But I personally actually we really like this level. I mean definitely better than number one's last level. No tedious stuff here. And I feel like we spend a lot of time in the tree house in this video game, which... You know, either way, nothing to complain about. I mean, if it was a TV show, I guess you would love to explore the tree house and well... Get a chance, and yes, the toilet Lily has henchmen made out of toilet paper, or as I like to call them... To well, toilet paper zombies, because that's what they are. Well, toilet paper... No, toilet paper mummies! Really? Again, I'm poised for swearing, but might as well just call them shit mummies, because that's what they really are. Ugh. Gummy toilet paper mummies? Throwing rolls of toilet paper? Don't you think you should hang on to that? <laughs> Good point. It doesn't make sense you're throwing pie yourself at your enemy. Don't be like me, throw a piece of flesh at you. That sounds really disgusting. Anyways, how disgusting this. Show can get. Hmm. I don't know. The 2000s, the early 2000s were a weird time. Then I guess you can say for any decade. I don't know. I don't know. The 60s were weird. The 70s were weird. The 80s were weird. The 90s were weird. The 2000s are weird. And this decade is weird now. Everything is weird. Nothing is normal. Where am I going with this? Base. A fine bunch of toilet paper here. I mean, how childish can this get? But again, the main cars are literally kids, so I really do not know what I'm expecting here. Okay, and once again, we're getting spare parts for our next weapon because double four doesn't keep a spanker weapon. As always, he just threw it away. Must have been done with. With um. Where was the last time? Oh yeah, I can't spike you up. I forgot. But again, why didn't Number Three keep his freeze way with her? Ah, uh, this number one actually keeps his previous weapon. But Mum Three and Five now? Nah. Mum Three and Four, I mean. Five doesn't even bring a weapon. Number Five is the worst. In terms of that, but I like to play about Number Five enough already. Ugh. So yay for toilet humor. There's poop everywhere, or I'm sorry for the swearing again, but there's shit everywhere. Again, sp spare, spare. Again, playing spare parts quickly though, so I might be able to get my weapon pretty soon. Okay. At least number 4 has better melee attacks than number 5 at least. I think so anyway. So yeah. If I had to pick who is my favourite number to play in this game... Mm, you know, I'll, I'll be honest. My favourite number to play in this game is number 3. Yeah, not kidding. She can double jump, she can glide, she eventually gets her own weapon. So yeah, I think number three is my 
favorite number in this game. Which is weird because she's nowhere near my actual favorite number in the actual show. That goes to number 5, but unfortunately she's my least favorite in this game. Kinda of odd how this game just completely switch things on its head. Anyways, I'm already halfway done with the Rainbow Monkeys. I don't have any stuff, but yeah. Look, there's... There's dirty water everywhere. This is the most disgusting level I ever played through. Oof. Honestly, this might as well be called a sewer level. Because it really is a, a sewer level. And Pro Jared will absolutely hate this. You'll probably say something like, Oh, fuck me, a sewer level. Pfft. But technically it's not a sewer level, but... There's sewer water everywhere, so it might as well be a sewer level. But hey, at least the style's not that terrible, so... As you can call this one of the few good sewer levels, there's only technically a sewer level there. Don't know why I'm going into this. Anyways, more dialogue, because this game can't keep its mouth shut. This video was allowed to swear. Walking shit. Yep, we have officially hit rock bottom, ladies and gentlemen. We're now finding green shit man here. What? But yes, we finally got a weapon quite early, actually, so we can take out this. Now I'll we'll take out this power shit here. I'm sorry for the constant swearing, but when there's when there's really shit coming out while the toilets, I really can't help but actually swear. There's shit and piss everywhere. I mean, this is bloody disgusting. Ugh! I can't believe they actually managed to get away with this. I mean, I believe this is a Peggy 7, and it's got shit and piss everywhere. Ugh. Yay for Poochos! No, no, no. Oh, this game is so bloody childish. Anyway, we've got to take out all three shit, shitty toilets. Again, sorry for swearing, but look at this! There's literally shit coming right out of the toilet. That is bloody disgusting. The toilet must be the most disgusting villain in the entire TV show here. How do we know this boxing glove here can take out the henchman in one go? Not happy happy about that. Do you know about these walking piles of shit here? Must be two or three hits. Okay. Now we can move on. Oh dear lord, I can't believe this actually managed to get through through the um the ESP waiting team or whatever. Hey, let's go play for the video games. Ugh. I wish. But take that way you're playing for ah video games have stream blah 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 blah. So yeah. But before we go he was up here. Because we're able to climb up this tree here as number three. Can we do this number four? I'm pretty sure we can, despite number four's weird double jump here. Uh, fine! Let's not climb it then. Because number four can't jump at all. Don't wait, number four, you're still better than number one. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pfft. Ugh. They do have actual names. What do, the numbers are now are just that we the code names. I can't remember what the actual names are. I believe number ones is Nigel. Number fives is Ab Abigail, I believe. I think number three is Greek. 
Kuki, I think. Though I don't know what number two is and number four's real names are. I can't seem to remember. That's all I can know off the top of my head and Ugh gotta do got to carry a budget crate so I can get through those holes here that the toy name made. Why you just block up the whole wall? Well better yeah, why doesn't number four just tear off part of the whole thing? I don't know. Anyways, here we go, another whip of shit here. And two more toilets with shit coming out of it. And science is gonna constantly do this shit all the time. Because that's what the toy in just likes. The toy in there likes shit. The toy in there eats shit. No, I'm not gonna go that far. I won't. Okay. Let's move on. Buying on somewhere cl Never mind! Gotta deal with another ambush of. of these toilet. minions here. Including shit. shit versions. And of course they run away. Because they're absolute. pushovers. And once again, the games we play this same exact tune all again and again and again. Can they make up any more songs here? Oh, well, there's way more monkeys there, frankly, so that's a good sign. But I've already got plenty of way more monkeys as it is. Ugh. Let me move on. We're back. We're nearly back at number four's room. What we're gonna do over there? Crap! I swear to you, I can make this jump. Well, nah. Okay, no, I can't make that jump. Once I can, we stack crates on top of one another, which kind of sucks. Okay, come on, grab the ledge, number four. I know you can grab the ledge. Come on, there we go. Can I make that bloody jump? Ugh. Doesn't matter anyway, I've got enough rainbow monkeys as it is. So, yeah, I'm going to ignore the rainbow monkey. Uh, more dialogue, unfortunately. Hold it right there, toilet breath. You're too late, number four. Only one toilet left until your treehouse is overflowing with my sewerific henchmen. For the last time, they're not freaking. And wait a minute, that's my toilet you're talking about, and nobody clogs my toilet except me. What? <laughs> you? Clog a toilet? You're too small to clog a drain! Oh yeah? Let's settle this once and for all! Last one to the top gets a royal butt whooping! Great? Um, oh, well... Oh, what's the matter? Afraid of being a big loser? Oh! You wanna race the toilet in number four? You're on! Prepare to be flushed! Oh good lord, you're an absolute joke, Toynaya. Just be trying to be scary, but you're not. You're literally a f based on a freaking toilet. How is that even scary? I thought you are something children even hate. Okay. Yes. Wow, a whole pound of old tire. Oh, come on. Number four's toilet is golden. I got bull crab on that. So yeah, we got away to toy and get there first. number four, we will get there first. So we basically gotta beat beat the the Terminator, Toilinator to the golden toilet. And also there's a set route you wanna take. Don't go to send a boxing ring, because that will take you to the top. Because for some reason the, the Shut up number four! 
Okay. Audrey can use a target. Will you let me speak, number four? Ugh. Anyway, it's here barely naked because I couldn't attack with them in the woo. But forget the box, we can just keep climbing up here until you find the white target pad, which is not that. Or that. So yeah, just get to the top of this room until you get to that platform. Then jump to this platform, get on that target pad, and that's where you get to the golden toilet. Level done! Nobody beats the toilet clogging speed of the Toilinator! That's impossible! Listen up. My room is my castle, and this is my throne. Got it? Um, can I just flush it a little? Take a strength, toilet brush. We'll see how you like flushing in zero gravity soon enough. Oh, <laughs> good lord. Okay, I think you guys are quite a short level. It was half stars that long night brace level for me. So okay, next time let's play play Conan Kiss Next Door Operation Field game. We shall be doing the last shooting level. Yep, we shall be getting back in the cool bus. So I'll see you later guys. Goodbye.